Hey guys, welcome back to Trail Overviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So when you're powering this camera on, there's a side button right on the right side. It says mode. Right here it's not focusing so you can't see it that well. But you hold that for about three seconds and then right at the end you'll hear three beeps and then that'll get to your main home screen of the GoPro. To power the camera off, the same thing as powering it on. The mode button on the right side of the camera, hold that for about four seconds this time. You'll hear seven beeps and then the entire camera screen will go black. On this camera, when you want to start recording, all you have to do is press this little red circle right on the top right of the camera. You'll hear one beep and then on the LCD screen, if you look, you'll see a red dot. All the icons will go away. It'll tell you the time it's been recording for. And then to stop, you press the red button again, and you'll hear one beep, followed by three beeps, and then that knows when you stop recording. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys on this main screen, once you turn the camera on, is the resolution. All you have to do is click where it says RES and FPS, and you'll click that again, and you can see you have different options. And some of them give you hyper smooth stabilization and some of them don't. Then you can touch the frames per second. Moves over there, you have 240, 120, 60, 30, and 24. Also in the video settings is FOV or field of view. You can change this from wide, normal, and then that just changes. And then you touch it again, it goes back to the video setting screen. Obviously, now you have also in video settings what everyone buys this camera for, the stabilization. When I run it at 2.7K and 60 frames per second, I use the hyper smooth stabilization, and that's the best quality that I use for it. So when you click on stabilization, you'll see stabilizes your video for smoother footage, crops wide field of view 10%, and then you'll see auto and off. So that's pretty much what's important in the video settings section. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you some other quick things. This 91% right here, that's the battery life. I'd say the battery life on this camera is pretty good. Um, then you have this down here. You click on it. Video and then looping. When you're also in this and you see the video and the looping, you can scroll either way. If you scroll to the left, you'll see the different types of video that you can do and photo. And then you scroll all the way right, you'll see photo, burst, or night. On the left of the camera in the middle, you see this icon. If you click that, that'll have it so you take a quick 30 second or 15 second video. If you scroll to the right on the main screen, you'll see time lapse. And then you scroll two over, it'll go to photo. And then it'll set on photo mode. Right under the left side of the camera, right where you see the seven black, there's a little port right here. You push that down, hold it down, slide out under the logo, and you'll see this part pops off. And then you can lift that up. It's a little spring. And then you access the charging port in there, and there's two ports for a charging cable. When you're closing this charging port, all you do is slide this all the way back into its slot, and then make sure it's pushed down, and then just slide it straight in, and it pops. If you flip your camera upside down, you'll notice you have a bigger compartment with a button. You hold the button, you slide, and this one just you can let go. And then you have your battery here with the little flap handle. And then you also fit your memory card in there. If you're going to run a memory card, uh, I would recommend the SanDisk Extreme. And then obviously the more gigabytes the better. We're using the 128. This is the case here with one of the mounts on it. And you can see uh, the GoPro's waterproof too. And the case, unlike the old Hero 3 that I had, isn't fully enclosed because the GoPro itself is the waterproof part. When you put the case over your camera, you'll notice it has all the buttons or spaces for the buttons. Like right here is where the little red circle part is on the camera. That's going to be in the open spot right here. The mode button, you're just going to press that 
and then that'll be inside the camera. And then this is your other side of the camera where you're going to access your charging. With the mount, you have a screw right here and that turns. This part is the part that connects to either your helmet, your chest mount, your handlebar mount, whatever kind of mount you have. And uh, there's multiple types of mounts for that. Then the screw right here just makes it looser tighter. The case, as you can see, has, if you flip it on the back side, it has a little ledge that opens, and then you fit the camera right inside it. And then when you close it, there's this strap here with a little metal ring. You peel that over, put it in the middle rung, and then snap it closed with the camera inside. And that's the simplest thing possible. Before we end the video, now I'm going to show you how the GoPro Hero 7 Black records and the quality of its footage.